hello guys yeah good afternoon good morning good night from wherever you are watching me from so uh how has your day been i'm going on a pilgrimage we are, we are going to a holy site in Izmir. Izmir is one of the provinces in Turkey. Um, and we are going by road. It's approximately 10 hours by road. So guys, we have 11 buses filled to the brim. So it's going to be a nice trip. I'm going to show you around. Let me not review the secrets. Till we get there, I'll tell you what and what, why is it a holy site, why do people visit there, everything you need to know, alright? Alright, catch you guys. I'll carry you along, by the way. Let's go there. Watch the way to Ephesus for the security, because they had many attacks from this way, and also from other way, from the sea. So if they see anything uh, strange, anything dangerous, they let the town, Ephesus, know uh, about this with the fire and uh, smoke. So, top of the mountain, watching castle, yeah? Uh, remember Lord, uh, Lord of the Rings. So they had similar on the mountains, fire, yeah? So a city, a ancient city behind that mountain, other side, Ephesus. So, two, uh, 2,000 years ago, this area, flat area, was a sea. Yeah, 2,500 years. 2,000 years uh, near Ephesus town. Ionian Lake, 12 cities in Greek islands and uh, here... So, Ephesus, the city, Ephesus was capital city of Ionia. It was a big power in the Greek and Roman period. And high population because uh, they had big harbor and uh, it was trade center. So they were getting everything from the land inland and they were selling to Greek islands, Egypt, Italy, Mediterranean uh, and big temples and power of the armies so many people want to visit the temples here so beginning of the Christianity it was also a very important point as uh, Jesus Christ died after four or six years after that uh, Virgin Mary and uh, Saint John arrived to Ephesus so after that everything changed so they were uh, believing you know uh, uh, Greek gods Olympian gods like Zeus uh, Artemis here uh, they had very big temple uh, one of the seven wonders Artemis temple so they respect Artemis uh, so much and uh, later on, when uh, Virgin Mary arrived here, so they said Virgin Mary is like Artemis. And people changed mind slowly. But at the beginning, they didn't show any respect. They didn't want, they didn't ac accept them. And then they had to move on the mountain site where we go now. The uh, house of the Virgin Mary was far from the city top of the mountain and you know the store how they found this house it's uh, 1891 one group from uh, the church in Izmir they read about the dreams of uh, Anne Catherine Emerick one lady she never walked she was disabled all her life but she had uh, strange dreams and somebody 
found these uh, dreams very strange and then start to write down. And one uh, journalist also listened to her and they made a book. And like 30 years after she dies, somebody in Izmir found this book and read and find something interesting talking about, writing about Izmir, Selçuk town, telling the mountains and the sea view and the river and the fields, everything, explain it. So, one uh, weekend they decide to come here and they walk. They took all the way to the mountain, Panayir mountain, and then they reached to the top. They were almost dying because a uh, hot summer day and no water. And they were shouting water. If somebody hears and then give them water. And the farmers who uh, growing their tobacco. So they heard their uh, sounds and then give them water. And later on they found the uh, foundations of the house exactly telling in the book view to the sea and between the hills and the top of these uh, slopes and then there uh, some uh, water spring and they reported to uh, Vatican later on long long years after 1967 uh, Pope Paul the sixth visit there and he said okay this is the uh, accepted uh, 1967 and after that pilgrimage started and uh, that time Turkey's uh, conditions were not good roads here were very narrow and very small road so they they paid some money for the building new roads to make it easier to reach there. So, cooperation with Turkish government, and then they built the roads and everything. Now, every year, thousands of people visiting there. And, uh, tourist groups, for example, uh, cruise ships, uh, docking Kushanasi, the tourist resort near Ephesus. There are big cruise ships, each one like 3,000, 4,000 uh, passengers, people. So all of them visiting. All, uh, I remember it was very difficult to enter them because of long queue and very small house. And after the pandemic, uh, less people visiting. So today uh, we'll see what's going on. So this area, this flat area, very fertile land because uh, this is new, like 2,000 years old here. Yeah. And uh, very tasty fruits, mandarin, pomegranate, uh, peach, apple. So, uh, and most of them organic. So very good, and very good quality fruits coming from here to other cities of Turkey. Selçuk Castle, uh, which used by Turkish people, uh, like 11th and 12th century, and also Ottomans used that castle. So the town take name from uh, Selçuk Empire. Have you heard about Selçuk Empire uh -huh. before Ottomans? Yeah. So it was uh, one of the important uh, cities of Selçuk Empire. That's why the name is Selçuk. So that castle, very important. Around the castle, uh, Saint John Basilica. Also after uh, House of the Virgin Mary, we are going to visit there. And uh, other side of the basilica, just nearby, like 200 meters, Artemis Temple. So it was the uh, harbor of old Ephesus. You will see that castle and uh, St. John Basilica and then we keep going to House of the Virgin Mary. 
So these are pomegranate. You see the fruits? Pomegranate very uh, popular because the juice. Yeah. In uh, well, two years ago, well, many school. tourists were coming. Every stop, they drink pomegranate juice, but now not much tourist. You see olive trees left side. This uh, no, no, green and silver color trees are olives, especially on the hillside. So you see the mountains behind, behind high mountain. Uh -huh. The house of the Virgin Mary on that mountain. Statue. We come here, uh, Basilica Church. I didn't get. I didn't get it. Basilica Church. Now we are going to the house of Virgin Mary in Ismi. Ismi. Is you see the trees, orange trees? Mm -hmm. They are not uh, real orange. Ooh. Very sour. We call them trunch. Mm. It's like Unbelievable sour. Like when you taste, you don't feel your tongue hmm. after taste. Because Why? I did it. Why? No, like just uh, like for that? decoration they use. Uh, nice. Maybe it's a particular called Magnesia, this way, left side. In between the two hills is the gate of Ephesus. Uh, so we are climbing up to the mountain, top of the mountain. Like 10 years ago, it was a big fire. You can see on the mountain, the mark. Some uh, small trees. That area, everything burnt. And fire reached the house of the Virgin Mary and then stopped. Just uh, before the house, you will see. Because uh, on the edge, the house is this side of the mountain. So everything is burnt to this side. Left side or right side? This side no? still green. And you see the buses, two buses there? Yes. They uh. take picture with the statue. You can see the statue is shining, left side of the buses. On that edge, that's it. So, these walls here, these uh, columns, belong to the gate, entrance of Ephesus. So, the city uh, surrounded with the city walls. The high walls, like uh, five, six meters high, like castle walls. Also, that side was wall. All around the city. And the protection walls. So this is one of the entrance of the tourist now. So there is a river, small river. And they built uh, aqueducts, the canal for the water. So there is no water in the Ephesus city. They bring water with the canals and the aqueduct. So it was lots of water in the city. It was very clean and green city. So in, inside the city, you could hear the sound of the water every time. Sea, Aegean Sea from other side of the hill. Also there was a sea in front of Ephesus. Wow. 
are trying to get to the top of the mountain, but you know, because the mountain is very high, we are going round. There is a road constructed round the mountains, so it doesn't look so sloppy. But this part that is still sloppy, but not too much anyway. So we're trying to get to the top. So our buses just stopped here. As I told you, we, are, we came with 12 buses, so some of the buses are still on the way. So we are not going with the buses to the Virgin Mary. Okay. House of the Holy Virgin Mary. Mm. So exactly this is where Sister, you, need, you don't need to block this thing. Block. No, no, just just uh, have a seat. Have a seat. The right tops. Oh, have a seat. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we are going down the mountain. Our bus stopped like um, two minutes ago. So we have to walk down to the house of the Virgin Mary. It's a little bit dark, but I, I, because of the flowers, please bear with me. This is police patrol office. Hmm? <laughs> I thought it was a dog. This is a place of worship, silence and appropriate destiny will be appreciated. Oh, that's good. Okay, this place was registered to the World Heritage in 2015, Ephesus House of Virgin Mary. Ah, for baptism. Oh, okay. There are two evidences. One is the presence of the tomb of St. John in Ephesus and the presence of first basilica of the world dedicated to the Blessed Virgin. Wow, this is a very big historical site. I think this is where the marks will be held today. So you can see because of the pandemic, maximum eight persons to go inside. So people are coming here with their candles to make their prayers. This is the Virgin Mary house in Izmir. So people are making their prayers with candle according to the Catholic faith.
you believe when you pray true the virgin mother the virgin mother intercedes for you and then jesus will hear your prayers so according to their faith and belief they are doing the prayers so people on the queue to go in we are out already and the max is over there So people are going to drop their prayer points. Oh. Huh? This is holy water. People believe that this water, when you take it, you will, you will have good things. <laughs> Is a fountain flowing from? Yes, I don't know. So people, candles are lit already. Waiting for procession. You can see the crowd. Some people are inside already, waiting for the max. Or they've already started the mass, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And this is my candle. <laughs> that would do.
Tazi. So far, uh, while we are having our Eucharistic celebration, nobody is going to go inside Mama Mary's house. Please. So uh, we will stay here until the Mass is over. Nobody is going to be going to inside the house of Mama Mary. Thank you. Mother Mary's house. Mama Mary's house. Also, for those who want to have their confession, Father Michael is somewhere on the left, left uh, right side. For those who want to receive confession, please uh, proceed to Father Michael. Go. Mother, Ephesus, in the house of Mary, let us raise our hearts, all our thoughts, and all these intentions which are mentioned today, and each one of us, we have our own intentions, our own families, and all those people who have asked their prayers, who have recommended themselves to our prayers, let us bring before the Lord on this altar, along with our Blessed Mother, and even St. John, who was reflecting here, who was with the intervention of the Holy Spirit, was able to write this so-called book, Book of Revelations, The End Times. And we have many beautiful intentions today to pray for. So putting all these intentions, let us begin this Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the